Day, and I uh, invite you this day to my culture. Oh, I am Cherokee Shakona Apache of uh, the Central Tribe of the, uh, the Cherokee. Really, so High above the Yaki River stands Pogetsen Gay. It is cradled within 200 to 800 feet of drop offs. On the other side, it banks the Yaki River. The current is torrent and it is a strong In the event of a chief's death, that is what it would be used for. On this great chief's departure, only the information he told to his wife was a command he entrusted only to his wife. He would take them there, but she would take them there. Before his departure to the great white house, to the great white man's house, early, early in the brisk morning, of the, of the new moon, the 38th clan of Apache, Shakonan, stole away in the distant light from underneath the new moon. And they traveled to the stronghold of Pagetsu Gate. And I get nervous now. <laughs> so. They traveled to the secret location, as I told you, and they became the nameless and the legacy lived on. And you can see in evidence of great spirit and the mountains, they were free as the soaring eagles and free as the mountains. And you can see in evidence of great spirit in his beauty and personality. It's like a fingerprint of today. His power is ominous. And you could see it in the variety of life, in the plants, in the things that he made. And even in his wisdom um, of the great spirit, his precision of the laws of the universe, and the power of the sun cycling fresh water every day, unending throughout the earth, kept these people alive and nameless. My people, they loved the great spirit. They knew he was ominous and they respected his wisdom and they were always reminded and taught to have deep respect and honor for great spirit. For his wisdom and for his power for protecting them, they kept this, and it was an integral part of their survival and peace. They would not, it was unthinkable for them to disrupt or break their unity with great spirit. Hence the furs and bones that you see here today, my people used them and recycled just like the power of the sun. Always, everything giving back, never taking any more than what you can use, never wasting. I have learned these are in some form of my people. They cook in the ground, they, they love their family, they laugh, and they live and breathe for great spirit, the creator. I have learned as a Bible student, our creator, great spirit, he has a name. It is Jehovah. It is found in the Bible in Psalms 83, 18. It means he causes to become. He becomes whatever is necessary to fulfill his purpose. And my very existence today is no longer a mystery to me. I know that creation was Jehovah's divine purpose and that earth was to be a paradise, to live in peace. And even if I go to sleep in death, I am merely asleep as stated in Ecclesiastes. I will call to make what he calls my hand. I am so free. And I have learned that Chief Cornerstone, yes, yes, is the only begotten son of Jehovah's name, is Jesus. And if you uh, have any Jehovah's love, I love him so, it's like I cannot breathe without him. He is like, his love is like the eagle. It always watches over and protects his own. And if you need any answers, ask me. I'll help share the truth with you.
Mangus, Colorado. Cochise. Taze, Naiche. Dose, say. Joseph. Geronimo. Wahoo. Each of these people has a name. They are sons and daughters. Husbands and wives. Mother, father, brother, sister, grandfather, grandmother. And their name each has a meaning. As I have learned, the great spirit has a meaning to it. And it means he causes to be A wise chief once said, All man is made by the same great spirit. And that was Chief Joseph of the Nesca. night of the full soon sun and you can see the first fire tonight you can smell the fire of the of the buffalo roasting and you can see all the lights and the all the stars shining down do you smell the food do you feel the air this is the first fire tonight of the year and then here come join me and we will listen and share the stories that will be told. This is an eagle. He's a bald eagle. And they mate for life. And they take care of your own. And they represent great spirit. His love and protection for each of us. And tonight in First Fire, it is a tradition for the Apache to warm their bellies with their love from their family and the first fire of the hours of the first year. And it continues on. And when you have a feather, you can talk. These kids call the talk to feather. When you pass this feather, you talk no more. You can say whatever you like or not. Spirit, I love the people. Osio! That is our day in the life and the culture of the Cherokee was your corner.
you're welcome to cut the book. They're real bones. <laughs> They're real stones. <laughs> and they will not hurt you. <laughs> That's my dad. And he is as funny in this picture. Isn't as serious as that one. And he made me listen. And I'm glad. And I thank you for the opportunity for me to be here today to speak how I really am. <laughs> I know it was confused. <laughs> the Judy gets me. And thank you, Heather. Thank you, all my friends, my brothers, and my sisters. Because we all are connected by the same grace. Thank you, Freddie. And now we have Mr. David McCullough. She's a flutist, and he's going to give a presentation on the different types of flute and play a little music. Uh, I brought some flutes. You can fill the table. <laughs> I have uh, several different kinds of flutes. I, I started out playing five-hole flutes, and that's what I learned on. Uh, this group is kind of small, so we'll go with an A. These are woodland flutes, and uh, they're, uh, they're the pentatonic minor, which means you have five notes to the scale. And once you learn that scale, you can play anything you want to. Most of what I play comes from the heart. Uh, I don't play anybody else's music unless I'm trying to uh, bring it to mind for somebody. But uh, I play the five-hole flutes. I also have six-hole flutes. And they're the same progression. Whoops. The only thing that uh, you have to do with a six hole fluid is keep that hole covered. <laughs> you have the same progression. But. Um, This is a low C, and 
was made by a friend of mine named Dusty Moore out of uh, Maryland. flutes here. Uh, this one, I will not attempt to play this one. It's very, very difficult. This is a copy of a 45,000 year old Neanderthal flute that they found in Slovenia. And uh, it's true to, it's about that size, it was made from the juvenile cave bear tibia. And they, they dated it, at, they carbon dated it at 45,000 years old. It's the oldest known flute that is actually playable. And I have, uh, I have there's, 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 among historians, there's a, there's a growing movement that the Mayans and the Aztecs and the Incas were actually Polynesian. That they, they moved into South America. And this is, uh, uh, grabbed the wrong flute. This is a, a, a Polynesian nose flute. It's very difficult if you have a cold. <laughs> but uh, the uh, this is an art, it's a copy of an artifact from New Zealand. These, uh, this is the, the uh, indigenous people of New Zealand are the Maoris. They're uh, great big bruisers. They're very fierce. And they, the men make and play these little bitty flutes. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this flute was uh, presented to me by a Maori. Uh, I'll show you how to play it. It's played obliquely. It's festival down there, the Native Rhythms. And I was playing this for a girl, and she said, man, that sounds like a theremin. 
Anybody, anybody here know what a theremin is? It's an electronic music maker. And it, they use it in, in the uh, science fiction music, science fiction movies for those weird sounds that the aliens make. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a, this is a, 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 a flute from the southwestern United States. This is the Pomo flute. If you go on YouTube, not, 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 not YouTube, but Google, and you put in Pomo flute, this picture comes up just exactly like this one. Well, uh, I decided I wanted one, so I made one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's played obliquely just like the, uh, the Kowalwal, the, uh, the uh, indigenous the Maori flute. Pentatonic scale with four holes. So that's uh, now we move to the rimblown flutes. I have three of them. I have an Anasazi, I have a Hopi, and I have a, a uh, uh, Mojave. The Mojave has four holes. dates from 620 AD. When the Anasazi moved out, they don't know where they went. They, did, did, okay. they just know that they left their, their uh, neighborhood. And the only remnants of the Anasazi were the Hopi. The, the Hopi flute showed up about 1300. And it was a derivative of the Anasazi flute. And uh, this this flute is from the Mojave Desert, uh, this, uh, along with the Pomo and the Miwoks and the uh, Southern California in, Southern California Indians. And uh, this is uh, this is the one that they call the desert flute. It's uh, a lot of people like, like to play jazz on it. note. 
That's a, that's a hard note to get on. This. And that's, that's about all the clues I got. If anybody has any, 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 any questions at all about the flutes, um, these, uh, the Native American flute, primarily, is one of three indigenous instruments to the North American continents. First is the banjo, the second is the mountain dulcimer, mountain dulcimer. And the third is the Native American flute. We think that the uh, the missionaries who came over in, in the uh, 15 and 1600s brought their recorders over, and the the Native Amer the Native Americans, being uh, expert copiers, they found a way to make their own flutes. These co actually showed up about the about, about in the 1790s to the early 1800s, and on up into this, uh, let's see, it almost died out in the 50s, and there were uh, Doc Tate, Nugget Milkoya, and. Uh, uh, and they thought pain in California kept them from lying out. And, uh, I'm glad they did. Because uh, I started playing Native American flute about 15 years ago. And uh, then I got into all this crazy stuff. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's, you can't play these when you're mad. You can't play when you're upset because you have no breath, con no breath control. But uh, uh, when I started playing these, uh, about, for about the first six months, I started playing Native, Native American, Native American, Native American. My wife made me go outside. <laughs> but. Uh, I passed that hurdle and <laughs> it's been a good We have a, a flute circle. If, 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 if anybody is interested, we meet the first Saturday of every month at the Leesburg Center for the Arts. And we meet the second Thursday at the Leesburg Center for the Arts. They take up the they take them the flute circle on as a partner. So, and we've, uh, we, we did the uh, art festival in March. We had uh, Mark Harland, who is an expert. He's, he's tons and tons of CDs. We had him in uh, February, and we had uh, 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 Tim Gomez from Miami just uh, a couple months ago. Brought him in, and, and we got, uh, Got John Tucox in February coming in for a concert, and we're doing this as a small cottage concerts. But uh, we're, Riverwind is I got a I got a good bunch of people. They're like herding cats. <laughs> but uh, I've got uh, one of my girls is playing for hospice. She's gone through the training for that. We're in four nursing homes in, uh, in uh, Lake and Sumter County. I'm trying to work up a program for life stream. And uh, we've been up to, we've been, we, we, we play everywhere. And uh, you know, they don't call me to say, well, we're gonna go play over here or here. They just go and do it. And that's the kind of people I like because I detest hurting cats. <laughs> the first Saturday we meet from 10 to 2 we have four hours there and in the second Thursday of the month we meet from 6 to when we close and we usually have a 
be between 20 and 30. Well, 20 and 30 people show up. Right now, I, I was in Navy Rhythms, and the, the, uh, there's a group uh, that starting up in Gainesville. And uh, Joey Hill contacted me. He wants all kinds of information on how to do a food circle, you know. So I'm negotiating with them to get something started with Gain Gainesville. Get something started in Gainesville and see it move. So if you have any questions, I'm here. That's <laughs> wonderful. Wow, thank you. Feel free if y'all want to browse and we'll get the artifacts and the clue. They'll be here to 12.